One of the most familiar and easiest ways we can store data in our app is with cookies. Now, whilst Electron does adhere to standard cookie specification, it allows us to use cookies as more of a data store than we typically would on the web. Of course, it won't be suitable for larger data entries, but when managing app state or storing small snippets of user data on unique sessions, cookies might just be the go-to store. We can access the cookies class on the session module, and in our case, I'll just use main session again which right now is still just the default session. Say main session dot cookies, and then to read existing cookies, call the get method. Get takes an object as its first argument, which we can use to apply filters to only retrieve certain cookies. But I'll leave that empty for now, meaning get all cookies. And then pass a callback, which will fire once the cookies have been read, with two arguments first one being an error object, and the second containing the cookies array. Log that cookies array out, save and launch the app. And in the console, we see an empty array being logged out. Of course, we've not created any cookies or loaded any content that creates cookies yet. So let's do that now. When we load external content that creates cookies, we can read those as well. So I'll change the load URL method to load https github.com as I know this definitely creates cookies. Launch. And at first this array is empty again as the get method ran before the content was loaded. So no cookies were set yet. Restart. And we see a whole bunch of cookies in that array, all from github.com. Now, let's create a cookie of our own on that default session. I'll say main session dot cookies dot set, and then the set method takes an object with all the standard cookie options as its first argument. So URL, just say HTTPS myapp.com, the cookie name, call it cookie one, the value, cookie underscore value, and the domain, myapp.com. Not all these are required, but it will make filtering easier as we'll be able to read cookies by any of the values that's been set. Then we pass a callback that will fire once this cookie has been created or failed. And again, as per node.js convention, the first argument in this callback is error which will let us know if there's a problem creating the cookie. Inside this callback, I'll add that get method as before, so we can log it out after it's been created, and just also say cookies set. Launch that, and the very last item in this cookies array is our cookie one. Notice, however, that this cookie does not have an expiration date, like the others, and session is true. This basically means that when we store a cookie without an expiration date, it becomes a session cookie. So regardless of the session being persisted or not, the cookie only lasts the lifetime of the session. We can confirm this by moving the get method back out and commenting the set method. Run that. And cookie one is gone. So to persist this, we can simply add the expiration date parameter to that cookie object. I'll just set it to a very large number, run that, and we once again see that cookie in the array, this time with the expiration date set and the session value being false. So this is no longer a session cookie, but a persisted cookie with an expiration date very far in the future. We can also check that one more time by again removing the set method and running the get method by itself launch, and cookie one still exists, as it's persisted now. As I mentioned earlier, we can also apply filters to this get method. So let's say filter by name, and look for any cookie named cookie one. Run, and sure enough, we get that cookies array with only our cookie, as it's the only one matching the get filter. We could have also done this on any of the other cookie values, like domain, URL, etc. 
So that covers the basics of getting and setting cookies on a session. And if we look at the documentation, we see there's also the ability to remove a cookie or listen for cookie changes. So overall, a very simple but powerful feature set of the session module.